Greetings programs, I'm Young Napoleon and I want to welcome you back to my inaugural Let's Play series. This is episode 11 of a Victoria 2 run as Texas with no mods and all of the DLC. I hope everyone had a good weekend and uh, let's get started. Last episode uh, we spent mostly just fiddling around with the budget trying to make sure that we could uh, get enough people in here in education while still starting to to ramp up some military spending. I think there's an Eisenhower quote in there somewhere about education spending versus military spending. Uh, anyways, we wanted to try and get that up a little bit so that we can at least get enough population for uh, a unit or two. Right now, I've only got a thousand. I know I need a thousand, or I need three thousand to get a to get a, a, a brigade up and running. Um, so hopefully, we can get that going. I'm going to go ahead and uh, unpause this and let things get going since there's really not a whole lot to do right now. We're waiting on functionalism to um, to finish up. And oh, we're in the red again. So let's go ahead and make some more adjustments. Or we could be patient and see if it bounces back up. I don't know why it ticks like that. That's weird. Uh, if, any, if any of y'all have a, have a clue... Let me know. I can only assume it's just like the, the varying costs of goods on the world market as my middle class and aristocrats and everything try and get their needs met off the, the world market. Because I know I don't have any I know I don't have any factories, so we're not buying anything to get those going. Uh, so we're gonna keep an eye on this stockpile here. This rainy day fun. Um, yeah, we're gonna crank it up to, I think that's normal speed, yeah, and let things kind of tick along a little bit. Oops. The USA has included Sokoto in their sphere of influence. Oh, it's just gonna show me the USA, okay. Major technology, functionalism, education efficiency, and colonial migration, so... That's good. Hopefully this education stuff will go up now. Um, I saw someone in the comments a few episodes back uh, recommend farming uh, farming techs and um, admin efficiency. And uh, while I've finally came around to farming techs, I don't think farming techs. I don't think I've done much for admin efficiency. So let's go ahead and see. Maybe that'll help with our. Uh, with our budget a bit, so we'll get that fired up. We're still in the green, still making money. So I did not have to, to lower anything that, wow. Wonder, I, wish, I wonder where all these troops are from. It'll be interesting to see how the, the Civil War turns out. Oh, I, for, I keep forgetting that it pauses when it pops something up like this. So, I was thinking me and me boys could go down to the factory and talk to some people. You know, tell them about the law and peace and quiet and order. You know, rough a few feathers up to get the point across. Wow, these wildcats need rough love. We've been approached by several employers' associations with a petition to clearly legalize lockout and union-busting practices. The cabinet is divided on the issue, but the more pro-business factions of it are definitely arguing in favor of the idea with some even going so far as suggesting restrictions on the right to establish unions. So, the poor strata will gain four militancy and two consciousness, but the capitalists lose two military and gain one consciousness. Um, Four strata lose two militancy, and the capitalists gain one consciousness and one military. Um, we're going to red light the practices. Okay, oh, it did still take the the drop in the speed, though, even though it was paused. That's good to know. USA has decredited Spain. I wonder if they're gunning for um, for Haiti, or Cuba, rather. Uh, I want to do something. I've got nine diplomacy points here, and I haven't seen it going up, so I'm wondering if nine is the max. 
So I'll try and discredit Mexico. See if I can't break up that alliance, that military alliance they got there, so that maybe I can <clears throat> um I want to decrease relations. How do I decrease opinion of another great power? We must be a great oh, okay, I can't do that. Discredit, we must be a great power. Never mind. Man, you can't do Jack Squad if you're not a great power, huh? <clears throat> I like this budget. That's fun. Um, do we have... Let's check out our population. How are we doing? 1,100. Something tells me I'm not going to have enough money to get much going there. Ecuador's opinion of the USA has increased to friendly. The USA has decredited Spain. Population's still going up. We started the game after losing that uh, that full stack wipe. We were around, what was it, 14k? And now we're up to 18k, so that's good. We're still getting... I can only assume this is immigration. Wow, those are 90. I can only assume this is immigration. So maybe all these policies that I was taking earlier, the social policies in the, in the decisions, uh, maybe they're starting to pay off. Too liberal. The only thing I haven't changed. Oh, I still got the the vote franchise that I want to try and. Yeah, if I'm going to be pissing off the the capitalists by um, red lighting the unions, I'm probably going to want to uh, balance out the vote franchise here. See, the people care the most right now about planned economy, and I've got laissez-faire. How do I get to planned economy? Oh, do I have, do I just change it here? State capitalism, laissez-faire, laissez-faire. Nationalist party. Okay, yeah, I don't I don't really know what's going on here. I don't know how to get the Democratic Party to change the economic policy. Oh, but just kind of sinking down a little bit there. Oh wow, they're piling some more troops in over here. What is that? I think that's, is that zero infantry, nine cavalry, and nine artillery? Spain has discredited France, which lessens their influence on Mexico. People trying to, um, why is Mexico such a, so popular right now? Mexico is cordial with the UK. British influence 10.1. The US has feared Mexico. American influence 8.4. Everyone else is neutral with the exception of Spain. They're cordial with Spain. Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right. Oh, we got some newspapers here we're getting behind on. War between Netherlands and Atje. It's kind of a, a go-to would be cool, because I wouldn't mind improving my geography a little bit. New upper house has been assembled. Oops. Uh, what have we got? Down... In the liberal category, so no more social reforms in the near future. Fears of Württemberg. Württemberg and Bavaria. Mm, kind of flatlining here. We might need to actually go ahead and... What's my... Soldier population at 1300. It's slowly going up. Ah, I really don't want to do this, but I just I've got oh there we go. I've got jack squat for for money for income. Oh hey, maybe this will. Let's hold on until I get this 
Let's see if that makes a difference. Maybe. Does that mean, can I lower this now? Count country administrative efficiency 100%. 1.6% of our population are bureaucrats. We only need 1%. Let's try lowering this a little. I think my crime fighting effect went down, but that's the only thing I saw. 1.5, okay, the, the percentage of my population that are bureaucrats just dropped by a tenth of a percentage point. So I guess they opted to go do something else with their life. Um, but we still got enough for maximum administration administrative efficiency, so um, we'll stick with that for the time being. Population not getting as much as I was earlier. 1400, we're getting there. We might have enough at this rate by the time the American Civil War breaks out. Uh, oh, we need new technology. Let's see. Private admin efficiency. Paused, okay. Uh, Liberty shines. In the workshops and mills of our country, the free Texan people make daily discoveries and advances. The advancement of science is intimately tied to the free exchange of ideas, and nowhere is the exchange freer than in Texas. Our liberty makes us a powerhouse of technological progress. Whew. Prestige, or I'm going to go... I'll take the research. Um... Tax efficiency or admin efficiency? Oh, goodness. Let's go with factory cost, factory cost, factory cost. Tax efficiency. Oh, this one will has a side effect of getting some inventions in there. Um, only a 2% chance, but... Let's go. Let's go with that. Let's do it. Silver standard gives me some tax efficiency. Oh, I see. These weren't uh, related to that. These are what I could possibly invent because of technologies I already have, I guess. Silver standard, and I've only got a 2% chance of discovering the silver standard. A 2% chance of discovering the decimal monetary system. National values order. Clinical thermometers and binaural dot dot dot. Okay, oh, wow, it's going up. Oh yeah, that's right. Because of all the, the research points I just got. Das is good. Okay. Let's see. Anything else going on that we want to... <clears throat> take note of? Let's see. We got another newspaper here. Spain and the two Sicilies are at war. What's the U.S. up to? Um, increasing their opinion, or Japan's opinion. Increasing Mongolia's opinion. The U.S. is getting around. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, so we're back up in the green a little bit now. We're still making money. Uh, population, what's my soldiers up to 1,500? Okay, we, we reached a, a, a comfortable sort of equilibrium, I guess. Let's crank it up a little bit more. See if anything fun can, and exciting can happen in the last five minutes. The time flies when you're um, having fun, I tell you. Uh, 
that to roll over into 1856. Grain. We're, we're importing a lot of grain, probably for the farms. For the cattle farms. Maybe. Or maybe that's just something that my people need. Uh, losing more seats in the, in the liberal section of the upper house. I don't know how to get those back now. Still exporting primarily cattle, liquor, and fabric. Okay, that's interesting. So I thought sulfur would be a good um, a good export. Maybe I'm just using it all. What is sulfur used? Or maybe does it does it is this just what's taken on the world market? Or like. I wonder if what the my my sphere owner is taking is including in this or not. So like, if most of my sulfur is going to the U.S., would it show up in here? Am I am I getting paid for that, or are they just taking it? I wonder. Inquiring minds want to know. Uh, Luxembourg's relations. Uh, okay, so we've got a new technology going, and I completely forgot, forgot to run my sound through the headphones this time. I'll have to fix that for the next episode. Um, but yeah, let's see. So more tax efficiency items along with the administration efficiency. So we're going to go with that. I think this was, that was some really good advice on going with the admin efficiency. Because uh, look, now we're up to 0.5. Um, population now is around 1748, so we're going in the right direction. Uh, we're making a little bit more money, so we can bump up the education a little bit more. Let's see what happens when we get up to 76. We're working on central bank money bill printing. Okay. Just saw something light up over here. Oh, it's because the U.S. is sending a ship around, and I get, I get views. I get, I get to see what my military ally sees. So I guess so. That's kind of nice. The very minor perk for getting dragged into major conflicts with them. Fears of Luxembourg. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and diplomatic tension has caused an international crisis in Western Afghanistan. Oh boy. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and uh, call it here for the day. Uh, and we'll pick up tomorrow with this international crisis that's brewing. Uh, well, yeah, we'll take a look into that and see what's going on. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. We're watching our budget come back up into the green. Thank you again to the commenter that suggested the uh, the admin efficiency. That's That looks like it's really starting to pay dividends there. No pun intended. And... Um, yeah, we're going to call it there. Uh, if you did enjoy that, please be sure to do all the YouTube stuff if you haven't already. And uh, always remember, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. I hope we all learned something today and I'll see you next time.